Welcome to another weekend here on the platform. It is our tradition to examine developments in the polity, and today's program is no different. <coughs> My name is Sam Omashe. As is the custom, President Muhammadu Buhari presented the 2019 appropriation bill before a joint session of the National Assembly. But it was a peculiar gathering because in its arrival, there were indications of brewing chaos in the assembly. Um, lawmakers were seen carrying protest uh, placards and uh, awaiting the president's arrival. When he arrived, it turned into a rowdy session. The entire presentation became a session of intermittent <coughs> cheers and jeers from lawmakers, especially the jeers, as the president gave details of the proposed budget. At the end of his delivery, protocol uh, was abandoned and the president hurriedly led out the chamber to manage the situation. And the president, Muhammad Buhari, presented a budget proposal of 8.83 trillion naira for the year 2019. A brief breakdown of the proposed budget shows that major fund takers would be the current expenditure, which will go up 4.04 trillion naira, while capital expenditure will take up 2.031 trillion naira, and debt service 2.14 trillion naira. The 2019 budget estimates 300 billion lower than the 9.1 trillion naira being implemented for the current fiscal year. Quite uh, a mouthful there. <music> Public affairs analyst, Lekon Shote Amojid Jamiu, joined me to discuss issues of national importance uh, this week. Well, it was a joint uh, sitting like no other. Lawmakers in Nigeria decided to throw caution and decorum into the wind by interjecting President Muhammad Buhari with chairs and jazz, especially the jazz, as, present, as he presented the 2019 uh, budget proposal to the joint session of the National Assembly. Let us begin by sharing some of the moments with you. Honorable members, that the world is watching us, and we are supposed, we Lie. are supposed, no, it's not true. We are supposed to be above this. Well, Mojid, what would you make of what happened? Well, um, since it happened at uh, the hallowed chambers, uh, one would have um, uh, thought that, uh, well, it's, uh, it's normal. But then, uh, the hallowed chambers, as, as, as the name suggests, is supposed to be a well-respected um, uh, uh, chamber. Uh, where institution. Uh, institution. But then, since it happened, I've, I've, I've been uh, looking around at uh, other democracies. I mean, it happened to Obama, but the language was, was not as uncivilized as was being used. I mean, calling yeah. the president a liar. Yeah, they used the word, the guy used the word a liar. Yes. He said liar. Liar. And then it was seen in the assembly, uh, as, as the Congress, as yeah. an unusual thing to happen. To happen. And, and for a month after that, that person was constantly under scrutiny under for scrutiny. doing something. And, and the person that did it against oh. uh, Theresa May yes. in, in England yeah. had to even deny right. it. So <laughs> because he knew he, he knew he has crossed the line. Crossed the, the, the red line, yeah. yeah. So 
for this to happen, especially in, we, we have a tradition in Nigeria of respect for elders. It is not about Buhari now. It mm. is about the institution, institution. Buhari represents. Mm. That's the office of the president mm. of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mm. And mm. for the president to talk about some projects ongoing in mm. some states and for somebody who is supposed to be either a distinguished senator oh. or a honorable uh -huh. member of the House of Reps to call the president a liar. And I think... Uh, Which means that they were neither distinguished wished, nor honorable. No honorable. That, that, that's what I make of it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's a sad development. It's an irresponsible act, mm -hmm. so to say. And I wonder what these fellows want their children to say, I mean, when they view this kind of uh, event mm -hmm. in five, ten years' time. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, what, uh, what they want Nigerians to make of it. We won't continue politicking. I mean, there will be... When, uh, uh, when they go back home and sit down to wash mm -hmm. this, because this we continue to trend. Mm. Remember what Olubebe did? Mm. It was the daughter that called, it was the daughter that mm. first tweeted and was mm. apologizing mm. on behalf of, of, his of, his, of his father. Yes. I, I mean, the daughter that. was in UK. Yes. That, no, I'm this sorry. Is, I mean, this, this, this is has gone beyond a politics. So mm -hmm. I think these characters, I'm referring them, I'm using characters now because, I mean, they have lost that value, that, 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 uh, that salutation of a, a distinguished. Uh, senator or another. Uh, these characters will, re I hope they would one day sit down and reflect on what they are doing to the institution of democracy yeah. in Nigeria. Okay. What did you observe first? What, 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 what jumped out at you? Well, I, I saw lawmakers trying to be activists. Mm. And I asked myself, what is the basis of this? What are they talking about? Mm. Um, you recall that before the sitting yesterday, yes. uh, we all knew that it looked like the president would not be allowed to come into the, uh, the chambers. The chambers. Mm -hmm. uh, they even said that he should not come, or they would not even be available. They wouldn't be up. They would be absent. So we'd yes. be talking to an empty, uh, empty, <laughs> empty chamber. Yeah. You know, uh, because it will, it will become an echo chamber. <laughs> <laughs> because he said that. The shortcomings mm. of the constitution, mm. a lot of the blame should be taken by the mm. National Assembly. Mm. So I am hope, expecting that they will probably deal with issues like that. Mm. And then what the president was, the facts or the statistics that he was ruling out. Mm. I'd like to think that those things, he should not be telling lies about those kind of things and mentioning places that you can verify. Yeah. I see that these are self-serving individuals that go into the chambers at the federal level, indeed at the state levels. You cannot really point to anything that they are doing. Mm. Now they have turned themselves into hecklers. Mm. You know, I am not going to say the budget is 100 percent. Yeah, uh, we'll come to that. Perfect, yeah. You know, yeah. but to become hecklers especially when you don't have anything that you are contributing to governance in this country. Mm. What your, your issues are simply because some of them have been denied a, ta a second term, another mm -hmm. term, yeah. they are angry. One, some of them feel that somebody has not allowed them to, mm. what is that, what's the name of that, a constituency? Constituency allowance? allowance? Yeah. Projects. Projects. Projects yeah. Somebody is denying them, or they, maybe they are padding um, the budget. State and expenditures, they, and they for were, example, and, and somebody says it's not going to, it's not going to happen. <laughs> yes. So it appears they are, I'm very serious about it, it appears to me that they are dealing personal with pers their personal issues mm. rather than the issues of governance. Mm. If you want to contest what the president has said, I would have thought that you will wait for an opportunity to, to re after all, in the, in, the, in the U.S., in the, US, the tradition is that after the State of the Union, that's right. Statement by the President exactly. of the United States. Right. The leader of the opposition That's right. will now give his own speech counter. to counter that. Yes. Yeah. That's the tradition of decency. That's the word I mm -hmm. expected. But, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I'm very angry with this, with this uh, gentleman that they take their own personal issues and they think it is more important than the issues of the budget is is a veritable, Im very important um, instrument for governance in mm. any country. Mm. And then you stand there and you are saying things like that, and I think it's wrong.
President Mohamed Buhari has presented a budget, a budget proposal of 8.83 trillion naira for the 2019 fiscal year, with so many talking points. The surprise is that it is 300 billion naira lower than the 9.1 trillion naira budgeted for the current year. So we we'll look at the, the, the budget itself. It's usually a statement of intention based on um, particular projections and so on and so forth. He also admitted in the, in the budget that not much, a lot of the work that ought to have been done because of the shortness of time was not done. So looking at what he has projected, looking at the politics of even approval of it, well, what, um, what hope do we have that this budget will not be different from last year? It will be a, be a budget in which we have started this, we have started this, we have started this, but didn't have enough money to go all the way. Well, it, 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 <laughs> could, it could be worse. And yeah. I have my... Special uh, election year. Uh, yes, because of the election year. And I think uh, we should let Nigerians know here that mm. actually 2018 budget mm. was uh, 8.62 uh, trillion. Mm. But because of the environment, uh, mm. taking into consideration the election for next year, they mm. had to add the election yeah. budget. So that yes. shut it up. Mm. And uh, that's why they are going by. So technically, if we look at it, mm. uh, the 2019 budget mm. is a bit higher mm. than uh, the, the, the 2018 budget. Yeah. But then, uh, but when you add the environment uh, mm. uh, as a result of uh, mm. the provisioning for uh, the 2019 elections, yeah. uh, which I mean, also caused uh, some uh, mm. uh, uh, opera in mm. before it was finally approved. Yes. Uh, well, uh, the, the lawmakers told us that they were doing us a favor by recalling, <laughs> you know, recalling themselves yeah. from their annual vacation <laughs> yeah. to look at the, look the at budget it. of INEC. Then, so at least we should clap for them for that. <laughs> <laughs> so we say thank you the, to, to our the, the, the legislators. But then, um, the budget, we might have some problems in our hands because mm. even when we have a full year mm. uh, to run a budget, but one mm. good thing also is the fact that the budget has a cycle. It's a mm. one-year cycle. Mm. So like the 2018 budget started mm. just in uh, June mm. and it's going to uh, run till uh, next year. Mm. Out, out of which I think we, uh, they have, uh, we've uh, expended about 65% of that. that yeah. uh, so And uh, hopefully, uh, it will still continue. The 2018 budget will still mm. continue because mm. I doubt if this current assembly mm. will pass this budget before <laughs> their time expires in yeah. May, yeah. because they have gone on recess now. Yeah, it will mean that uh, the budget, the budget year has been. We are changing the year, just like what happens in our academic year. Acad yeah, so it's, uh, it's <laughs> normally supposed to be January to December, exactly. but as it is, it's now, uh, is, is now like they, they are forcing us to run from June to June. June. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it depends on when they are proving next time, but we don't know. It's just we, like we don't, school, we don't know when the school year will end. That is it. And I, 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 if I'm to hazard a guess, mm -hmm. I think I. I want to believe that it is the ninth assembly mm. that will approve. Well, yes, <laughs> the, the, the probably the ninth yeah. assembly. Yeah. And we hope that it's the ninth assembly that is less uh, <laughs> uproarious <laughs> than this one. So um, what that tells us is that budgeting in Nigeria has become part of the political problem, mm. unlike, it, uh, unlike in the past. So is it an issue now that we we'll have to now look at when we go to the polls that we need a cohesive political See, uh, elite uh, in the uh, center. Unfortunately, we politicize something that is germane, very important to the life mm. of Nigerians. Yeah. The budget is very instrumental to government um, achieving the objective set that is in why chapter 14 of the constitution, yeah, yeah. That the welfare of the people yeah. and security is job number one of government. That's why the U.S. calls it state of the nation. State yeah. of the nation. Yes. That's right. Now, what does the budget do? Mm. It introduces fiscal discipline mm. yeah. into our uh, revenue and uh, expenditure mm. proce procedures. It also tries to stimulate growth mm. in the economy. You know, and uh, of course, it also uh, is a way of uh, finding ways and means is that's where you yes, like, yes. ways and means, means, and means for the government um, to run its programs, yes. health, education, roads, mm -hmm. infrastructure, all those things. Those are the main things. Mm -hmm. This is disrupted. Mm 
mm. by this pro this Policies. unnecessary um, you know shifting of goalposts, mm. so that it used to be April first to thirty first of December when we were kids. Yeah. Then they changed it to January to December. January first to mm. December thirty first. Yeah. Who changed it now? It's a contest of wheels now. <laughs> Who changed it? It, it? We are not so. Therefore, we are in a lawless situation, mm. a lawless environment. We are forcing the hands of the executive branch mm. to do what it is not. As far as I'm concerned, if you look at it, I think we should have gotten a lawyer to tell us the, the constitution that is now being passed. Is it legal? Because we are not now conforming to oh, yeah. what the, uh, the law requires. Okay. It's also supposed to be January mm. 1st to December 31st. Mm. We are now running something that yeah. is helter skelter and mm. confused. Yeah. And so, when you now say, oh, the constitution, uh, the, the budget is 67%, mm. <laughs> you know, uh, executed. Yeah, These are the people that have the most important responsibility in this country. For yeah. them, they are the ones that make the law. They are the ones that determine what mm. the executive branch will do. Yeah. Yeah. They are the ones that determine what the judiciary will interpret. Okay. Yes, okay. Very mm. important assignment, and we are having the Lipushians. Okay, we'll, see, the we'll see how that uh, <laughs> pans out in the months uh, ahead. ahead. Yeah? So thank you very much, Mujit. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. As always.